Hello and welcome everyone. So I'll be explaining um, a uh, code forces um, educational round one 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 hundred and ten. Um, problem B: array reordering. Quite fun problem. I enjoyed it. Um, so let's jump into describing uh, the solutions. So uh, in this problem, basically you're given an array of n integers okay now one thing to notice is that the constraint of n is quite less it's uh, like up to 2000 we could do something n squared type but before that let's jump into the statement first uh, it says that what we need to find out is the maximum number of good index or good pairs pairs of index maximum number of good pairs of index now what does uh, what do we mean by a good pair of index? A good pair of index is a pair where if I say a pair of two indices i and j but uh, the condition is that i should be greater than uh, I mean j should be greater than i so um, yeah and uh, uh, and we can call it good if it, it satisfies this condition and also the GCD of the value on the ith index and the value on the jth index times 2 is greater than 1. Now a, uh, a big mystery is inside these uh, these these two uh, these two like statements here. First of all is that any pair which you consider j should be greater than i now think about it we're going to be doing the gcd operations of two values one is for ai and the other is for aj both of them um, but aj should be um, times two now what is actually j j is actually referring any pairs greater index uh, then uh, then the index i okay so and also uh, we're taking times two aj times two okay we're taking the j indexes times two now just imagine we just need to make the gcd greater than one right we just need to reorder the array somehow such that we could make the maximum number of good indexes so what we will do is we will do in some fashion we will reorder the array in some fashion and then after just uh, we will throw a n square loop to find out all the possible good pairs uh, but after we optimally reorder the array now how will we reorder the array think about it here a i and two times a j where j is greater than i now when you multiply some number by 2 it becomes definitely even here ai the value itself is greater than or equal to 1 so any value it doesn't matter which one is it uh, be it odd or even if you multiply it by 2 it becomes an even value value so even value if i multiply it by even value then it does not like uh, does not get any up give us any optimal answer right if we could somehow make any odd number multiply by 2 then we could make that odd number even now we know that the smallest even number is 2 which is greater than 1 right which is greater than 1 the smallest even number is 2 which is greater than um, 1 now our uh, what I, what I thought how I thought was that okay I will tr uh, in order to make this optimal or in order to make the whole array optimal what if we try to maximize the sec uh, each pair's second part of index and make it our odd value uh, make uh, or pu push the odd values in those pairs what I mean by is that I'm trying to make these second type of index that we're going to be deal with, dealing with for each and every 
uh, pairs, I'm going to make the maximum values, I'm, I'm going to make odd values, this, this portion, or like um, this part here, this branch here, the second part, each pair, second part, I'm going to make it a maxim, uh, I'm going to maximize the number of odd values here. Uh, that's uh, how can how can we do that? Think about it. If if I could make that, if I could make each and every pair second value as odd, what does it give me? I know that my smallest even value is greater than one itself. It's two. Now, if I could somehow make each and every odd value times two, then it becomes eventually even. So even value. If you GC, if you do a GCD operation of two even values, what does it give? ultimately a value uh, definitely it's gonna be GCD at least two of course uh, it has to be because both of them are like mod 2 equal to zero right so that's uh, exactly what we're gonna be doing so um, now the question comes how do we make sure or reorder the array in order to make the maximum possible pairs where the second hand or the second value itself is going to be odd such that times two of that value becomes even so that we could make the maximum uh, we could make the GCD value greater than one turns out we could do something like this we're gonna take the even values in one vector or one array and then the odd values in one array and then what we're gonna be doing what, or what I did was just uh, make a new vector where the first type where the first uh, sum values, uh, may, be it any number of values, will be even, and the next part, just add it, just add the odd values uh, at the back of that vector. That's all we're going to be doing. So, uh, what I'm trying to say is, let's say this is my new vector. Inside this new vector, I'm 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 making sure that the first half be it any number of values but the first half I want to make sure that it's even I want to make sure that it's even okay and for the second half I want to make sure it's odd I could do that I'm just gonna take the array and then get, then separate them uh, those values and do two different branches uh, according to their um, identity no, uh, known as even or odd and then gonna just gonna add them uh, sequentially uh, first even and then odd uh, back to back like that uh, now what uh, how is this gonna help us just now you you will notice that is that yes I'm actually making sure that my uh, uh, that the pair that I'm gonna take it's gonna maximize the number of uh, the number of uh, uh, good pairing because what I'm actually doing is the odd values I'm gonna put I'm pushing them on the back of my vector at the end such that any pair that I'm gonna take where J value uh, becomes um, most of the time it becomes a part of as a odd number so uh, I hope you get that uh, let me take you to the code part uh, there you go. Okay, the code is clean, quite clean code. Uh, what we did was taking the test case and then the values, uh, the array values for each and every values. I'm just pushing them in their different, uh, different identity based on their identity. I'm pushing them inside their vector, even and odd. If it's even number, uh, pushing them inside an even vector, otherwise in the odd vector. And after that, new vector taking. Uh, in that new vector, first we're push, pushing the even values and then after the odd values. After that, we have to output uh, what are the number of pairings. We could do that as a brute force operation, which you guys all know how we, how could we do that, right? So, uh, this is the basic brute force to find out how many good pairings because we have already ordered it in uh, optimal fashion. And after that, just output the uh, yeah main result and then clearing out because there are some test cases that's why we need to clear out the vector so i hope you get that and i hope hope i made you understand yeah so till next time goodbye